You can find the group block as you scroll through the bottom nav in the app. To get started, tap on the group block. Once selected, you'll enter the group block editor. Now you can choose which blocks you want to compose your group. Here, I'm adding a logo. Next, I want to add an image of the product, so I'll add that into the group as well. I want to have the text layered over my image, so I'll adjust the layering of each object in my group. To finish your group, simply tap the area outside the group or hit the back button. Now, these blocks are connected and I can move them as one group on my page. I'm going to build out the rest of this page using the group block. It's a product page, so I'll be able to build out my entire product line quickly using this feature. Once I've built my first product, I can exit the group block and adjust anything in the overall page layout. The next time I want to add a product, I just copy my original product group. Now I can update my image and text while still keeping the same formatting. I can also add a background color to my group. When you resize, the group will mask the interior components. You can also nest group blocks within a larger group block to get even more complex. Building consistent pages is faster and easier than ever. Now, it's your turn.